Hello guys, it's been a while. Right now I'm focusing a bit more on my other YouTube channel, which is all about building machines and robots. So I actually built a machine that plays garbage wine bottles and makes music with it. And I created my own synthesizer using fidget spinners and an Arduino. Check it out if you're interested. I recently heard this song from Martin Garrix Breakaway. It was recommended to me on Spotify and I really liked it. And I was amazed by the sound design, so I tried to recreate it and I succeeded, I think. So you can hear it for yourself. Here it is. Right, let's do an AB of the original song and my version. So this reference track, when I click solo right here, this is the original song. And then when I unclick solo, you will only hear the parts that uh, I actually made. And mind you, uh, redrawing a Picasso certainly isn't the same as coming up with the original Picasso painting. Uh, but it sure is fun to learn about these techniques and that's what I wanna show today. So here we go, AB comparison. So let's get into it. First thing I checked was, what's the kick doing? Well, basically it's a four on the floor. So just grab the kick that seems similar. So a first step into identifying some stuff about the original is putting some EQ around it and then listening. So what I did was this. And that gives you a sense of the, the bass that's playing and, and uh, the kick and how they combine. So I added some bass sounds that I had laying around in my favorites and I added a kick and around those two um, I added some multiband compression. So what I did was compress the low end. Everything below 200 hertz I'm compressing a little bit and that glues the kick and the bass together a little bit which sounds nice, I think. So we have this kick, add a kick bounce. The melody seems to be playing something like this. Okay, and then the bass. And this rhythm is a bit jumpy. So what I did was here select a groove for all the MIDI that's playing and I chose the 1635. And you can actually grab this in your groove pool right here. You can replace it by something else. And these grooves go from no swing at all that's almost straight to very swingy. You can actually globally change this for your song. All right, so let's say for example, I would remove this swing entirely. So we would replace it by uh, something like this. Okay, so that's one way to play it. And then let's fully swing it. So the second part is all straight, but if you listen to the first part, it's really different with the swing full on or disabled. So this is a very nice way to change the swing of your entire project. Just make sure that all of your clips are selecting the corresponding groove and you will be good to go because this will be changed globally if you change this one. Then the sound design, you can pick these bases out of your own collection. I mean, I I'm using, what is this? Monarch, and this is silent one. And combining it with the kick. But then there's a huge part, which is very important about this song structure, and that's the steps. And yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of sounds and stacked them on top of each other. But it's really critical to this type of song. So what did I make my stack out of? I think uh, the guy Brooks, he sort of made this style big. He has a very good video about how to make these, these sort of steps. Watch this video if you wanna know the real story. But basically what you do is, here I have a bunch of layers that all play at the same time. You, you need some bass, you need some noise, you need some dubstep sound, you need a step sound, and then I added some more uh, synths on it. So let me go through the layers on here. Yeah, yeah. 
It's just a dubstep sample that I've tuned to the right root. It's that noise. So we combine it all. Okay, so in the grand thing. Cool. So all these bass parts have side chaining on them. So I just push down the volume at every kick drum. And we have some volume automation. So in the second part of the drop, there's a little part where uh, the melodics, they stutter a little bit. And I did this through a mute. And you also have these effects that actually stutter, so they reproduce the sound. But in here, I could do it with a mute. It's also performing this on the other melodics. This is very well. That's subtle, but you really hear it in the original. And you can see it in a wave shape because here it's more empty than in the other parts. So let's get on with the melodics. Oh yeah, and before I forget, we also have this little clap going along, nothing special. And then I layered it with another clap. Little big snare at the end. Then there's a lead sound. I grabbed something from Silent. It's basically, yes, it's bass gecko from some pack. You can actually clone it if you look at the settings that are on my screen, because we're just using part A. Here's all the settings, distortion, chorus, EQ, compression. Slow it down if you like those settings. Pretty basic MIDI. And what we're doing is automating two things. There's a tremulator and there's a reverb. So the reverb is just making the um, it's making the echo longer and the tremulator is tremulating. And I'm just activating it here on the tail of this note. And we will play with this depth knob. And that makes it go like brrr. So that's really cool. That's also an original. Whoa! And then there's a little pitch band right there, and you can activate that by making sure your mono legato, one polyphony, and then hitting this one on 200 milliseconds. There's a bunch of effects here. Basically, overdrive after reverb gives, gives a nice spacious sound, but make sure your decay time is very low if you want to do this. Uh, OTT makes everything sounds fresh and crisp. Some reverb some EQing and some overdrive. So let's listen without OTT. So this is also grabbing this reverb and blowing it up even more. So I think OTT for this genre gives a nice sound. Then we're down to the dubstep. I thought I had better bro step packs and I don't. I'm using some serum stuff and it's from Cymetics. However, I don't have a very great patch, but this is the best I could come up with. So I grabbed a bunch of patches, added some overdrive and some reverb. <laughs> And then there's some super saw playing in this part. So I think this is the MIDI that it's playing. With a little bit of stuttering, so the total comes down to this. All right, cool, that's it. And to master this real quick, what I did was drop on Ozone 10, use the Tone Match feature, add an MP3, so just like this, hit up the MP3 that you're referencing, and then it will automatically match sort of your song to the reference by filling in all these plugins. So that's it. If you enjoyed the vibe of this video, be sure to check out my other channel, Jens Maker Adventures, for more cool videos where I build musical instruments, robots and machines. Alright, until next time, 